Hello guys and girls and welcome to today's video. So today will be a video uh, on how to sharpen your different gouges uh, to make small bowls or these big platters or bowls and some of the vases here, vases, flower pots. <laughs> so let's look at some uh, different tools. So here are some of the tools I use and the favorite ones. I got a, a, a bowl gouge here. It's really dirty, it's really dull, so we're going to sharpen them in a second. And it's, um, this is a, a Hamlet. Um, got it for, for a few uh -huh. years. I use a spindle gouge. That's also <laughs> really dirty. A spindle roughing gouge for uh, the vase turning. This is also a Hamlet, a Glenn Lucas one. And then a Crown Tools um, hollowing system. I can't remember the name exactly. And that's the tool I use for the, the hollowing on the end grain. You can extend this. You can remove this handle. And put it on the the end here to extend it, but I always use this so I get more support. And there's some different bits you can put on. This is the the cutting tool, the the ring tool, and you could get some different scrapers. This is pretty aggressive. You can change how thick the shavings are when you are working by adjusting this screw down here. The reason why I really like the Tomic and I have it uh, in my workshop and have it like a very central space is because I use it every day. Um, for turning I use it almost every hour just to touch up the itch so the gouges cuts like, yeah, like if we're cutting in, in hot butter. I, I don't got the time to use uh, like 10 minutes or 15 minutes per tool. So I will just show you uh, with one machine and a few jigs how effective you can get these tools to, to be. And I simply love it. Um, that's one of the main reasons I I learned turning so easy um, and fast and why you get super nice results. I don't want a bench grinder because it makes a lot of mess and I don't want the sparks in my workshop because funny enough there are shavings everywhere but the Tomic uh, T8 which I use um, sharpens with, uh, with water. So you won't get any sparks. It's not noisy. It's really nice to use. So let's uh, sharpen some tools. I put this SVD 186 uh, jig. Set it on the, the middle protrusion here. And then I use this tool here, the same tool actually. So when you've set the, the protrusion here as before, you put this in the, for this case, it's in the, the first hole here, A or B, this is A and now it's already set, but you have to adjust it so these two wheels will roll. So it's actually a bit uneven. There you go. So this is super easy.
and I just do this. So the last thing is I hone it on the inside. A few minutes ago this was really dirty and dull and now it's super razor sharp and it took a second. And the next is totally the same because this is the bowl gouge. This is almost the same setup, you just have to adjust this here from two to four, this is another one. This is actually the new Tomek uh, SVD-186R, which is uh, for not turning uh, tools, but for other cutting tools like V-tools. And I'll show you in another video, but the same protrusion. So this is really simple. And if it's already done the right way, you have to do this like two times and then it's ready. Again, this is like almost too much. The next one here is the spindle gouge and instead of adjusting this again I try to just put this in the right spot but eventually yeah, I just have to adjust it a bit. Let's see. Just to remove the burr. And then this is ready. The last tool here is, as I said before, the, the ring on this crown tool, which requires that you use a Allen key or other tools here. Very carefully removing this small bit. This one here. Small fella. Because this is also the SVD 186. So you can see there's a small micro bevel out there because it's rounded. So that I have to remove that. And that's because I, I use the wet and dry paper just to hone the edge, but I will eventually make that small micro bevel.
let's see if I can show you. I'm not sure there's anything. There's no micro bevel. Yeah, sorry, it's a bit difficult here with the focus. That looks good. So off with this screw here. And then I have to put on this. I'm not sure if this is called a, a breaker, but it this will make the shavings thinner. It will break them or stop them so it won't just dig in. So this is a video and uh, I have to explain and do a lot of stupid things like cut yourself uh, in your fingers, but uh, nevertheless, but when I don't record this uh, some video material, it will take five minutes max to sharpen uh, four tools from dull to super sharp. So again, uh, a lot of love and uh, cheers to Tomic uh, for their really awesome machine. I couldn't do my craft without it or I could, but it will take a lot more time and humongous amount of frustrations. Um, yes, just a short video on sharpening tools and the uh, next one will come soon, I promise. Not as long as, uh, as this one. A uh, bit too much waiting time, sorry. <laughs> Take care.